ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೇ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದು ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನ ಮನು ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸುಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರ್ವಶ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಭವಚ ಪತಿತಾನಂ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾರಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗಂ ಹೇತು ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದು ಮಾಧು ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ಕೋಸೆ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪರಿದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಣ ಚೈವನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀನ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪಥೋಪದೇಶಿ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ವಶೋ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ನೇಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋಗರು ಧೈರ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನುಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವವಿರಿಂತನು ತರಣ್ಯ ವೇತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನುಧಾಲಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತಿ ಚರಣಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮುನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರುಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವಾದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಫಾಂಕರೋಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನೀತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾವದಾಥ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕವಿತರೋ ಕಮಲ ಶತಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧಾರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋದಿವರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀನ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತ್ವಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಸಂಬಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹೇ 
यत्रोत्तम श्लोक गुणानुवाद प्रस्तूयते ब्रह्म कथा विगात निषेद्यमानम अनुदीन मुख्युर मती सती यति वासुदेव यत्रोत्तम श्लोक गुणानुवाद प्रस्तूयते ब्रह्म कथा विगात निषेद्यमानम अनुदीन मुख्युर मती सती यति वासुदेव गौरी गोष्ठी पति गौरी गोष्ठी पति शिशिला सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट मी दैट वॉट एवर काइंड वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ एंजॉयमेंट मटीरियल एंजॉयमेंट ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इन दिस दी इन ऑर्डर टू गेट रिड ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस मटीरियल एंजॉयमेंट्स in order to get uh, them out of this their physical amnesia is i am just uh, taking the, that away from them and whatever kind of uh, false ego what is there inside them everything i will take them away and uh, gallons of blood i will be just flowing uh, be flowing it away the thousands of uh, lakhs and lakhs of rupees i will be just spending i just want one thing that gorang mahaprabhu's that uh, that very unique uh, instruction that instruction in order to preach that in this material world in any how that i am actually available to do that gorya goshtipati shishila bhakti siddhant saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupad paramans jagat guru told that i i am in this material world whatever kind of uh, material enjoyments whatever kind of uh, that uh, material uh, enjoyments and all those material facilities what are present in this material world everything all the enjoying mood and all their physical amenities and that they are enjoying mood everything i'll be just taking it away from them and in order to just uh, make them free from them that gallons of blood i will be flowing that and i will be just spending gallons of blood and millions and millions of rupees i will be spending for what purpose but still that shri gorang mahaprabhu's that actual unique uh, uh, transcendental vani in order to preach that in front of them i will be doing all kinds of efforts why because why hari katha and hari kirtan because by hari katha and hari kirtan apart from that nothing is there in this material world because whatever hari katha and hari kirtan that topmost mangal janak nothing is there in this material world apart from that at all how in this material world that we can get the topmost mangal of this material world by just two days of uh, absolute mangal that can be done very easily but that mangal that all the time transcendently present transcendently it's it is present with us that is actually only done by shri gauriya mat that how we can get the transcendental happiness and mangal the prabhupad speaking that when that day that we that material enjoyment and even we will not at all be feeling detachment then only we can understand the actual uh, transcendental treasure in front of us when we will be understanding the relationship between the material enjoyment and detachment that kind of which are will totally vanish then only that actual uh, pathway will open for us when that bhog and tyag it will be there inside our heart then at that point of time it will be not possible for us to understand the actual pathway which pathway to follow that in this material world that normal people they are thinking that we are very very uh, having false ego that they are very intelligent that we are becoming very profitable they are thinking like that but this kind of profit of money power position and this land property position name fame this all kind of uh, advantages it's all uh, temporary this is just temporary just for fraction of second it will be there but to, to do pure guru vaishnav seva 
that kind of top most transcendental happiness you can get that very easily that's why that you can get the transcendental happiness that vishnu seva that guru vishnu of seva by that only that vishnu seva is possible that vishnu seva by pure guru vishnu of seva only you can get that very easily maybe that the previous karma according to that sanskar that previous karma sanskar what you are having that according to that fruits you are getting the reactions you are becoming a material enjoyer you are becoming a material enjoyer by that but still they are only by pure guru vishnu of kripa only that kind of material enjoyment and detachment both which are uh, automatically will just you will get uh, vanquish and you will get the actual uh, atma dharma in your life that bhog and tyag that is not at all atma dharma at all this uh, material enjoyment and detachment this which are this is not at all related to bhagavad dharma at all this is not at all atma dharma uh, this is not at all attached with atma dharma at all but that mano dharma that it is one kind of uh, transformation this is just one kind of transformation of your mano dharma this is mano dharma that's it that i i am actually unintelligent this definitely is true point but if by the grip of pure guru vishnu we are actually doing some seva then that inside our heart that kind of unintelligent bhav what we are feeling and what we are having not at all then only we will be eligible to do that if by the we can do some seva of pure guru vishnu then only we will be eligible to become the top most intelligent person definitely we can become eligible to become an intelligent person by pure guru vishnu of seva apart from that that to become a, a intelligent person on to the pathway of bhakti to get an entry on the pathway of bhakti to get that absolute amangal there is no uh, pathway open apart from that no pathway is there vishnu seva how to do that that adhokkhaj adhokkhaj bhagwan vishnu how to do that that is the question that first we just need to understand we can't understand that first why because that in materially bonded condition that sense gratification just all kind of vichar will be going on in our mind that how we can do vishnu seva that the first thing that first we don't we will not be able to understand that at all but after that what is good and what is bad this all kind of vichar just if we'll be doing that then we can understand that very big this thing is vishnu seva that is why shankar bhagwan speaking to parvati maiya mother parvati she is speaking that only and only that vishnu that bhagwan bhagwat seva is the topmost and bad more uh, topmost is the seva of the devotees to serve devotees that is very vishnu seva is very good but more topmost is the de- seva of the devotees that apart from that nothing is more topmost that bhagwan is actually adoksha vastu bhagwan is the that by our by bhagwan can't be measured with the thermometer at all bhagwan is adoksha vastu is adoksha object those who are actually all the time serving adoksha object they are also become adoksha transcendental in nature vishnu vishnu vaishnav they are on one platform vishnu and vaishnav they are one platform if they won't be in one condition then uh, uh, both the seva can't be possible at one time like in archan paddhati it's already written there that all the demigods just in order to serve them you just need to come on to the platform of demigods you need to have that capability of uh, serving the camp demigods and bhagwan is adoksha object in order to serve bhagwan definitely if you want to serve bhagwan then 
that by serving pure Guru Vaishnava only you can serve them, serve Vishnu. Only pure Vaishnava, pure Guru Vaishnava apart from that, no one, no one can serve Bhagwan at all. That Mahadev Shankar Bhagwan speaking to Parvati, that O Devi, that Vishnu Aradhana worship of Vishnu is the topmost. Apart from that, nothing is more topmost. But if you want more topmost thing, then that is to serve pure Guru Vaishnav. That is more topmost. That's why. That to serve Vishnu, that lot of uh, lot of types of uh, Vishnu seva, we cannot get that in this material world at all. Bhagwan, that is a topmost transcendental object, very much, very much apart from this material, material world. Srila Parikshit Maharaj also speaking to Srila Sukhdev Goswami and he is asking one question to Srila Sukhdev Goswami that Maharaj you tell me one thing that those who in this material world all those demigods of this material world material world means that this Brahmand Devidham full Devidham from Brahma till the small ant all are actually coming in this uh, uh, all the time they are going into this cycle of karma, karma. so this is all actually Leela of Bhagwan. Sukhdev Goswami Ji, Parikshit Maharaj asking one question to Srila Sukhdev Goswami Pad that Maharaj you just tell me one thing Gurudev that in this material world that so much Kali, Maya, Durga, Sankar all Ganpati demigods that demigods in order to worship them that person is becoming topmost wealthy materially wealthy just by worshipping them how it can be possible you tell me and whether Bhagavan Shri Krishna he is the absolute truth, he is the actual master of the infinity Brahman, just by doing his bhajan, mostly I can see they are actually on Nishkinshan, they don't have anything. Even one rupee they don't have, they are actually taking uh, food from someone. Bhagavan is actually Vaishnav. So how it is possible, Maharaj, that it is like this? Their condition is like this. When Parikshit Maharaj asking this question to Sri Srila Sukhdev Goswami Pad, then Srila Sukhdev Goswami Pad giving answer very nicely that, O oh, Rajan, you see, that Hari in this material world, he is not of this material world at all. Like all the demigods you can see, that Brahma, Varun, Ganesh, Kartik, all those demigods, Durga, Kali, all demigods you can see, that Chandi, all are actually demigods. They are all are of this material world, that they are all the time uh, uh, want to, that this is humanly planet, and that where we are living, and we are actually all being controlled by these demigods. And this Shankar Bhagwan, he is not of this material world at all. He is actually far away from this material platform, Shankar Bhagwan. That he is actually far away from Prakriti and from all the demigods from Brahma till the end. All are actually coming in the category of uh, material, material category. They are coming in this Prakriti. Sukhdev Goswami Pad also speaking. Bhagavan, that he is Sarvadarshi, that he can see everything in the form of Paramatma, he is there inside our heart. And whether good and bad, all kind of uh, uh, parikriya, he is actually watching in the form of Paramatma, he is seeing everything. Hari is Nirgun. And to do and those who want to do Hari Bhajan, if who, who those who are interested to do Hari Bhajan, they also need to go onto the platform of Nirgun. Why? Because without going to the Nirgun platform, to serve Hari is not at all possible. Because Bhagwan is actually far away from Prakriti, far away from the material modes of nature. 
That Bhagwan is Ubdashta means Ubdashta means that Jivatma they are actually thinking that they are independent, that we are enjoying liberty, that Jivatma thinking all the time that they are thinking themselves as independent, and inside them that Purushakar is there. It means that doership mood is there. That I am, I am the doer. This kind of false ego is there. That's why it is also called Purush. That Purush. that has some paurush that has some paurush that those who inside their heart that kind of doership is there that i am the doer this kind of false ego those who are having that in all the bodies there are two kind of purush sitting there one is one purush is jivatma purush and the other purush is one is jivatma purush and the other is parmatma purush that parmatma purush that the purush name is actually transcendental and the jivatma's purush name is not at all transcendental it is just one kind of doer she false ego what he is developing that he he is not at all allowed to eligible to speak a purush word but only he is actually speaking purush why because that in this material body that in this materially bonded body he is actually sitting there that this materially bonded materially bonded body is actually sitting there that's why he is called purush purush means that what bhagwan geeta is speaking in geeta pure dehi vasati ti purusha geeta mein bhagwan batai bhagwan also speaking in geeta the same thing that this pure means that which is there in this material body of made of five elements that which is who is actually sitting in this body made of five elements it's just one like of temple inside it the bhagwan is sitting in the form of parmatma that this jivatma that kind of false ego that is thinking that is material body material mind material heart man power money power position this false ego doership he is having that's why he is called purush that's why it is called purush that poor means that material body this made of five element that who is actually sitting inside this body is called purush that is actually called purush and parmatma he is the actual real purush transcendental purush that his purushutya cannot be going into uh, this uh, his purushatya that which is eternally present that is actually the absolute truth eternally present that is transcendental in nature that is a eternal fact so that's why bhagwan in actual is actually is actually the real purush you can speak you can in this material world just to get uh, the sandhan of Bha- bhagwan vishnu is not at all possible for a material materially bonded people because maybe in the form of shastras bhagwan is coming in front of us and in the form of kirtan bhagwan is coming in the form of pure guru vishnu bhagwan is coming in front of us in this material world in front of bonded jeevas the actual pathway open for us different different pathways bhagwan is opening uh, and uh, making it in front of all the bonded jeevas so they can get out of it very easily that parikshit maharaj that his actual question bashila sukhdev goswami pa speak giving answer bhagwan those if you want to do bhagwat bhajan then you just need to go to the platform of nirgun if you are on the pla- uh, trans material platform to serve a prakrit transcendental bhagwan is not at all possible just to be stay on that uh, material platform 
टू डू द सेवा ऑफ भगवान ट्रांसीडेंटल भगवान इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल बिकॉज भगवान इज ऑन ट्रांसीडेंटल प्लेटफॉर्म वैन इन इन अर्चन पद्धति अबाउट डेमी गॉड्स इट इज स्पीकन दैट देव भूतव मीन्स दैट इफ ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दे आर नॉट एट ऑल ट्रांसीडेंटल दैट देव भूत देव अर्च इट मीन्स दैट इन यू जस्ट नीड टू टेक द भाव ऑफ द डेमी गॉड्स यू जस्ट नीड टू टेक दैट भाव ऑफ द डेमी गॉड्स एंड देन यू नीड टू वर्शिप दैम दैट इज इट इज रिटर्न देयर दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट ट्रांसीडेंटल इन नेचर दिस इज मटीरियल प्लेटफॉर्म and our uh, shri in shri chaitanya charitamrit that instruction is there that is all written that instruction in shri chaitanya charitamrit prakito gucha prakito vastu nahi prakito gucha prakito vastu that transcendental object cannot become material at all that this totally different object it is all together This, by this all that transcendental uh, that adhoksha object of the transcendental world you cannot get any clue of that at all but still in this in this material world when in order to get directly the worship of vishnu is too much difficult for materially bonded people but still it is very easy to get why by pure guru vaishnav their lotus mouth if you are actually hearing something that from the transcendental pure guru vishnu from the lotus mouth if you are hearing something then everything will get solved guru krishna prasad e pai bhakti lata ki that this our sensual that sensual organs are there that by this uh, sensual organs that means akhaj that akhaj akhaj uh, uh, akshaja by your akshaja knowledge which is actually material knowledge and which can which is temporary in nature and can get finished that is called akhaja knowledge that by this materially sense organs to do seva of that bhagavat tatva in order to uh, realize bhagwan it is not at all possible at all but still in this but still in this there is no point of getting sad there is no point of getting unhappy in that by because bhagwan is actually adhoksha object and those who are actually serving that adhoksha object they are also on that adhoksha platform they can they can they can get krishna and they can give krishna as well that bhagwan is adhoksha object transcendental in nature and those who are actually serving uh, adhoksha object they are also on adhoksha platform and that's why that in front of them that to do adhoksha seva to do adhoksha seva this is not at all paroksha at all those who are actually serving the adhoksha object practically they are doing the adhoksha object seva they for them nothing is impossible for them that's why in gita is in it's written in gita that to do the adhoksha object seva to the adhoksha bhagavat seva that by all those sevaks who are doing the adhoksha object seva they are that can get manifested in front of us and this kind of pure guru vaishnav by their kripa only that that kind of kripa which we have received from them definitely it will put an effect on us that whole material world that that in order to there is one kind of uh, that whole material world you can see this is one kind of uh, the whole material world that in this material jeevas who are there in order to show mercy to them there is one kind of uh, way out is written given to them this is just one kind of way out given to them it is not at all not it is not at all important at all it is unimportant there is nothing special in it at all it is unimportant in nature these people are just making one kind of uh, figurative uh, 
figuration they are making that they are just making jeev hridaya one kind of figuration they are making and 2 to 5 kg of rice i will be giving and 2 to 5 kg grains they are actually giving they definitely will this is actually one kind of kripa someone actually opening food for life program they are actually giving lot of uh, grains and rice but inside this that jeeva there that wish that actually that is not at all available why because this that drama just will be done for two days only if you are doing drama then that drama will be going on for two days it will go on you are thinking that kind of drama that drama what you are doing that kind of wish it will it won't run after two days it will just that uh, resin that that inside that it is totally ab- absolute it will not stay at all it will just become uh, foul in uh, odor and they it will it won't stay and if that kind of uh, jeeva there are some wish is present in someone that in actually if you want to get that jeev is not this body at all jeev is not this body or made of material five material elements those people who are thinking this body made of five elements and are thinking that this is me and they are going on to the wrong platform wrong pathway that in front of them they have that yukti that proof that maharaj you just uh, do kripa and just understand this point that this material body if you are speaking this jiva this material body if you are speaking this jiva is this material body a jiva no this is maya this is prakriti that which is just making that is my my body my position my money this is all maya that this body just by speaking this is me that is actually maya this is totally maya that that's why the prabhupada used to speak in this context that it's just just to do seva of the outer covering of this uh, body is the actual uh, role of the whole material world they are just discussing how to serve this outer covering of your body who will do the act more seva of this outer covering of this body made of stool and urine this uh, temporary body just to do the seva of this nothing you will get out of that this is their actual vichar what to do that is actually they are thinking they are preaching it as jeeva there all all over the world they are actually preaching this as jeeva there they are all mayavadi foolish number 1 they are maybe indirectly if you can speak that it's okay to hear that jeevas if you are thinking that inside bhagwan is there that by this vichar that like ronti dev you are doing that seva that vichar is there then okay and if with this vichar is not at all there like ronti dev each and every jeeva ronti dev used to see that bhagwan is automatically there inside each and every jeeva by this vichar whole material world just for the actual mangal that uh, ronti dev our ronti dev like that in bhagavatam it is written about him like this if we are serving that about vasudev that's also in shri chaitanya jatamrita jatam. he also speaking in front of mahaprabhu that if you are actually merciful prabhu then you do in this material world all the jeevas of this material world whatever kind of sinful activities are there that all ever whatever kind of uh, karmic reactions everything you give it on to my head and you just uh, uh, deliver them from this material bonded condition whatever jeevas are there all their karmic reactions and all their karm phal and karmic reactions i am ready to get that you just uh, save them from all this and ronti dev the same uh, uh, prayer is like that only ronti dev also praying to bhagwan like that each and every jeeva in each and every body he is seeing that bhagwan is there in the form of parmatma and this vichar by having that vichar inside his mind ronti dev that is doing serving uh, each and every jeeva and by this same uh, vichar that uh, ronti dev is serving that each and every body that bhagwan is there inside each and every one like this kind of vichar he is actually serving ronti dev ji and vasudev that also similarly speaking to mahaprabhu the same thing but this whole material world 
they are thinking that this material body as mine having that false ego all the time inside them that just by speaking jiva daya that the actual that opposite bhav of the jivas the if you can speak it rightly that jiva daya the topics of jiva daya it's a very long elongated topics if you can see that this jiva daya this vishay uh, that jiva daya vishay it will be applicable only when that this material body when you are leaving that of actual nitya mangal of the atma you can get that is actually called the actual a- absolute mangal that is called absolute mangal jiva daya now this jiva daya that this jiva daya that what the material world actually wants to show this jiva daya that is not at all actual jiva daya at all that jiva is actually atma that uh, there is no at from infinity time his body is actually getting this life and death in order to get this uh, out of this cycle of birth and death that if that bhagwan wants to just arrange one kind of seva for him of pure guru vishnu and his seva that is actually actual jiva daya so that he can get out of this uh, karmic reactions of birth and death so this all kind of clash three kind of clash are there atmanishth klesh linganishth ling de stula deha nishth klesh this three kind of klesh just because of avidya ignorance that swarup vi brahm that brahm of swarup that your own swarup what is your actual swarup that kind of brahm misconception is there that is atma klesh that just because of ignorance that jeeva's thinking their own swarup they actually just uh, not at all remembering their actual uh, swarup that is called atmanishth klesh why because that the, uh, the transcendental swarup of the jivas that uh, in order to speak jiva swarup krishna that is the actual vismriti of your swarupa that in the materially bonded condition of the jivas that body false ego mind intelligence all are actually material it is actually just uh, you are taking it from prakriti for some times we are taking this on rent from prakriti all actually is from prakriti this body subtle body is actually connected with that and is connected with our mind and heart and intelligence and that man buddhi chetankar we have accepted that as our own that is called linga sharir and this five kinds of um, sensual enjoyment what we are feeling attached with this materially five elements of the body that is actually called ling ling mishrit klesh that jeeva hridaya that so much cheap vichar that so much cheap vichar if you are making that is not at all good at all this is all the work of my avadis that uh, at the time of speaking i am speaking very easily jeeva daya i am doing but it is not at all easy like that but at the time uh, but at the time of eating they are all killing all the jivas are eating all the jivas so that this jiva is just like uh, but this body human body that is only jiva others other jivas are other uh, species are not at all jivas just to kill them and eat for your sensual enjoyment is good and here also one time it is actually written there and hinsa definitely is all the all the all the way the hinsa is going on naturally it is going on <laughs> that you are speaking hinsa is param dharma what is hinsa you tell me first that hinsa that the actual meaning of hinsa means that just not to give place to the jivas that is ahinsa so this will become the param dharma that is one kind of ethical character how it can become param dharma that param dharma is actually connected with atma that is actually called atma dharma vai means definitely 
डेफिनेटली दैट इज कॉल आत्म धर्म दैट अहिंसा कांड भी परम धर्म एट ऑल अहिंसा इज वन काइंड ऑफ जनरल एथिकल कंडक्ट दैट सेट सो अप टिल दिस पॉइंट ऑल्सो दैट अप टिल दिस पॉइंट ऑल्सो इफ अप टिल दिस पॉइंट ऑल्सो इफ नो वन कैन गो अप टिल दैट लेवल दैट इफ ई स्पीकिंग लाइक दिस दैट इज एक्चुअली नॉट एट ऑल गुड नो टू स्पीक दैट जस्ट टू गिव प्रेमा टू जीवास मीन्स दैट इन ऑर्डर टू शो दैम द एक्चुअल पैथ वे हाउ भगवान विष्णु यू कैन सर्व दैम दैट हाउ द इन्फिनिटी ब्रह्मांड ऑन टू द लोटस वीट ऑफ भगवान इफ यू आर डूइंग भक्ति दैट इन ऑर्डर टू गो टू द ट्रांसडेंटल वर्ल्ड दैट जस्ट टू गेट आउट ऑफ दिस जेल ऑफ माया माया जस्ट टू गेट आउट ऑफ दैट and just to go on to that transcendental golok vaikuntha platform if the bonded jiva can go on to that that is actually called uh, jivedaya that if you can respectfully told them the pathway up to the transcendental pathway that is actually called jivedaya which apart from pure guru vishnu can't give it to you why because you don't have any information regarding this no only and only pure guru vishnu apart from them don't they don't have any kind of information how they can get the top most nitya mangal that is they are all the time doing hinsa that jivas for different different kind of uh, rubbish information and instructions they are giving and they are doing jiva hinsa and they are just giving going them towards opposite pathway that is called jiva hinsa that uh, forcefully forcefully that uh, that there is no mangal of the jivatma in that particular thing they are forcefully they are actually putting them in that wish and not to just give them the instructions are let them do let them die what i can do this is actually called jeev hinsa that's why that pure guru vaishnav inside them that one kind of that is very melting bhav is there inside their heart why because inside them that bhagavad kripa is uh, overflowing inside their heart that that's why they can just go for preaching just to give that overflowing kripa to them all the bonded jivas so just to do the seva of adoksha object that in uh, vishuddha swarup only and only gorya mat can speak about that only that saraswat gorya devotees can speak apart from that no one has this kind of courage to speak why because adoksha ja seva nobody knows how to do adoksha ja object seva at all just to do the adoksha ja object bhagavat seva that just by doing the seva of that it can get uh, it can become one kind of realization for the atma that's why in shrimad bhagavad gita mahapurana it is written bhagwan not at all putting any kind of uh, uh, inhibition for doing good and bad karma that directly and indirectly everything is done by bhagwan but this sanskar actually is uh, is uttardai means that it is coming from your previous what you have done bhagwan not at all uh, not at all giving any kind of inhibition to do good on bad karma bhagwan speaking that uh, you do my bhakti and you come to me but jeevas don't want to hear it what to do just by an intelligence an intelligence he is actually getting away from that pure guru vaishnav that pure guru vaishnav they are actually thinking that that they are their enemy bonded jeevas and what to do in that case you tell me guru vaishnav can't be the enemy of anyone bhagwan not at all speaking you just cook good activity or bad activity bhagwan speaking what is the actual meaning of that you tell me 
that your own atma your transcendental uh, relationship is there so why actually you are going here and there and you are going on to that opposite way you just i am not at all taking any responsibility of anyone bhagwan speaking i am not at all speaking anything to vibhu vibhu vastu vibhu object not at all giving any kind of inhibition to do good and bad deeds to anyone it is just you are getting because of maya this kind of inhibition bhagwan not at all giving you this kind of inhibition why that uh, duryodhan getting this uh, guru somebody is giving getting some information duryodhan is getting some information from someone that you have to do this this is actually good but still he is doing that you see someone actually speaking but still he is actually doing that is the opposite thing you see and he himself uh, accepting that as well that inside me that i know that what is this is actually not at all good to do but still i actually want to do that why because my sanskar is bad that your previous sanskar is bad that's why he is actually doing that that whom to blame in that you tell me that your previous sanskar is not good and by maya devi is actually is getting that prerna inside his heart to do that particular job or work or karm that duryodhan he is actually accepting himself this point at the time of his death that you are actually there inside my heart sitting and bhagwan no, not at all giving any kind of opposite uh, prayer not to anyone but because of the previous sanskar what the jiva is having that bhagwan shakti maya dak maya shakti which is tra- which is also nitya that by maya shakti he is getting that kind of uh, uh, acceleration side it so directly indirectly everything is done by bhagwan and duryodhan himself speaking yes i know i know that this is dharma but still i am not at all getting that kind of feeling to do that dharma but still i actually like to do adharma only i know this is actually dharma and this is adharma the difference but still i am actually feeling more comfortable to do adharma so whatever be the case now the actual vichar is that that shloka the shloka which i started with in that the two kinds of conditions of your heart it is written <coughs> two kinds of conditions are there two types are there one is shat satimati and one mat asatimati yatattama shloka gunan vadaha prastuyate brahma katha vidata jahan bhi bhagwan where there is hari katha kirtan of bhagwan from inside it's going on not a drama going on there where bhagwan actual hari katha kirtan is going on that uh, by pure guru vaishnav you are hearing from their lotus mouth under their guidance if you are hearing hari katha kirtan that topmost transcendental atmosphere is going on of the transcendental transcendental bhav is getting manifested there automatically where bhagavat katha hari katha kirtan is going on that is going on wherever that hari katha kirtan actually is going on of bhagwan that gram katha that kind of material talkings that all rubbish and foolish talkings of this material world it won't be there at all that all kind of rubbish talkings won't be there at all why because their hari katha is going on bhagavat katha is going on that grama khata is totally getting broken up into pieces and that seva that hari katha that bhagwat seva that just by drinking that nectar that gokaran ji maharaj speaking to his father
that the other that don't need to see any kind of uh, uh, any kind of dosh in someone else and all the time that hari katha kirtan you just need to hear so what will happen by that sati mati you will get that bhagwan that parat parakeleshwar bhagwan those who are all the time busy in that bhagwat seva that is actually called sati mati and about bhagwan they are not at all thinking of them and just his own sense gratification is busy in that that kind of mati which is there that is called asati mati that mati is actually strilling that is feminine feminine word that mati sati and by this that those who are not at all thinking of bhagwat seva are they are actually just like prostitute they are just thinking of their own sense gratification that is why the actual vichar of shila das goswami pad in front of us that it is actually he wants to manifest this point in front of us actually it's written that that asadvarta is just like a prostitute that our heart is just getting uh, imbibed into that and is just running uh, running towards maya that's why it is called you just need to stay away from it that what i have told you already that shila ragunath das goswami pa ji as shriman maprabhu shriman shriman maprabhu giving instructions bharuna khai gaya bharuna puri amani mano gaya sada ki krishna naam ho ye sabse bada cheez that is the topmost point that just to get victory over your mind and heart that is the first and foremost step you just need to understand and in that if you will just uh, uh, lose then everything is destroyed that on to your material mind and heart you just need to get control over it strictly that you just need to strictly control your mind and heart just to make it means just to do bhagwat bhajan you just need to get Uh, give lot of restrictions to your mind and heart this is the topmost point that is the topmost point why because if your mind is getting victory then without that nothing can be done if it is getting victory because in order to get victory over your mind and heart if you birth after birth you are just uh, getting victory over him then how you can do hari bhajan yeah you just need to get victory over your mind that is the foremost and first step towards hari bhajan that's why in shri chaitanya charitamrit actually it is written that those who have krishna bhakti inside them bhavita mati hi priyatam yadi putra phira krishna bhakti that those who are actually all the time flooding in krishna rasa if some person or some mahapurush you are getting his association then definitely krishna bhakti rasa bhavita mati hi priyatam yadi putra phira jaldi kharid do immediately you just need to buy that it is very much difficult lot lot it's very difficult to get that just buy it immediately that kind of lolya it means lolya means greediness topmost lobha greediness is required in that that is the actual cost of it that is the actual payment for which is actually birth after birth that you are getting that millions and millions of sukriti if you are collecting also still this is uh, very rare and impossible to get this kind of uh, uh, bhava 
even millions and millions of life also when you are just wandering here and there this kind of mati sati mati that in order to get that is very much difficult and that previous day i was also discussing vyagri means tigress that this kind of katha also you just need to throw it away that which bhagwan that about in in front of bhagwan uh, brahma ji is give uh, just uh, praying in front of bhagwan that try philosophy try knowledge is of no use at all try knowledge is of no use at all that bhakti apart from bhakti if some try speculative knowledge is of no use try knowledge means totally speculative knowledge that is of no use at all that brahma nirvan and sayujya mukti that kind of topics you just need to throw it away completely that on your own if you are making confidence and you are just making efforts to go ahead that is the actual effort of a mayavadi this is not the effort of a pure devotee that is the actual vichar of a mayavadi why because sayujya mukti by that automatically that atma satya that is actually totally destroyed that kind of efforts you are putting to destroy your atma satya so whatever kind of vichar mayavadis are actually speaking there is no background at all this is niradhar without any background at all this is niradhar and it's only one kind of uh, this is just uh, 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 tark and vitark that's it you are actually getting moho in that attraction artificial attraction that sarva shakti sampann tatva that absolute truth is only one and the same and about that that in amanay tatva bhakti no thakur ji has written very nicely one and each and every place you are actually going there are actually vikre of mayavadis and the temple of mayavadis you can see but inside nothing is there externally if you are making vichar that the temples are there of mayavadi people everything is there that vikre is all their kirtan harikatha everything is there and even prasadam they are actually putting the name that this is that is not prasadam what you are eating there how it can be prasadam they are mayavadi that cannot be prasadam at all prasada means kripa that they are not at all doing seva they don't want to do seva how you can get prasadam that uh, kind of uh, only satisfaction of bhagwan that is actually seva but mayavadis don't have any confidence on this word seva at all they don't want to do seva just material some uh, things they are actually just like karma they are actually doing that not for the satisfaction of pure guru vishnu and bhagwan so it totally will destroy your bhakti completely uproot it from your heart it will totally destroy your bhakti any how if they are actually someone is getting entangled in it then he is actually destroyed no bhakti will stay inside his heart at all that's why mahaprabhu actually speaking very nicely that if some mayavadi person you are actually seeing then with your cloth on you just need to take bath that's why mahaprabhu speaking this that uh, mayavadi shastra just by 
रीडिंग दैट टॉप मोस्ट अमंगल विल कम इन योर लाइफ जस्ट मायावाद भाष्य एंड दैट शास्त्र जस्ट बाय हेयरिंग दैट एंड रीडिंग ऑल्सो दैट टॉप मोस्ट अमंगल यू विल गेट दैट इज वेरी डेंजरस दैट इज टॉप मोस्ट अमंगल दैट विल कम इन योर लाइफ दैट मायावाद भाष दैट इट विल वॉट इज दिस सर्वनाश दैट सर्वनाश मीन्स एवरी थिंग इज डिस्ट्रॉयड एवरी थिंग दैट द आत्म दैट कॉन्शियसनेस विल गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड सर्वनाश योर चेतना विल जस्ट गेट डाउन एंड डाउन दैट द एक्चुअल नित्य स्वरूप ऑफ भगवान दैट नित्य सेवा ऑफ भगवान दैट द ट्रांसेंडेंटल गुण रूप धाम नाम परिकर वैशिष्ट नथिंग इज नित्य दे आर नॉट एट ऑल कंसिडरिंग इट एज ट्रांसेंडेंटल मायावाद इज जस्ट थिंकिंग इट मटीरियल दैट्स वाई दे आर एक्चुअली हैविंग अ वेरी पेनफुल सिचुएशन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस दैट पेनफुल सिचुएशन इज क्रिएटेड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वेरी वेरी पेनफुल सिचुएशन दे आर पुटेड इन टू वाई बिकॉज सेव द सेवक रिलेशनशिप दैट इज एक्चुअली डिस्ट्रॉयड दैट भगवान इज माई मास्टर and i am the actual nitya servant of bhagwan this kind of vichar is totally destroyed by mayavad siddhant that siddhant is totally destroyed it totally get vanquished it doesn't doesn't stay at all that is a sevak relationship just when it is destroyed apart from this how dangerous it can be nothing can be more dangerous like that they are not at all considering bhagavad shakti bhagavad leela bhagavad dham bhagavad bhakt bhagavad devotee is guru tatva nothing they are actually accepting at all they are not at all accepting that at all all this and if they will accept they will accept it, accept it externally but not internally that you can go raman reti here there all are actually mayavad that uh, bhagwan vigra is there just like murti just like a doll it is no pran pratishtha is there of that vigraha just it's like one kind of a doll made of one statue that's it those who are bhagwat videshi who are opposed to pure devotees that uh, that uh, leela parikar vaishishtha of bhagwan they are all opposite to that they are they are against that and according to their uh, karma phal they are actually swa atmanash means that one kind of uh, and uh, i they are getting so much anand so much they are thinking that they are getting happiness in that <laughs> that's why that mukti vagri uh, bhukti mukti vagri that tigress like this katha if you'll hear then if you'll hear it then everything will get destroyed it's already written that big big uh, knowledgeable personalities they are or uh, heart also getting uh, unstable when they are hearing that mayavad bhashya their heart also getting reversed and they are they are thinking also get opposed they are thinking oppositely after that hearing the mayavad siddhant that's why shila rup ko swami pad has written that bhakti sukh that happiness what you are getting from bhakti that bhakti is anandmay that top most happiness that bhagwan is himself speaking this point that bhakti that apart from the bhakti if someone actually thinking about bhukti mukti spriha if it is actually coming in your heart then it is compared with one ghost pishach bhukti mukti spriha yavat pishachi hindi varta up till that point that actual happiness to just taste that is not at all possible real anand is not at all possible how that bhakti happiness to you are getting from bhakti how you can taste that when that bhukti mukti is there inside your heart shri krishna charan bhaj seva nivritt chetasam ish 
तेषां मुक्षय भक्तानां न कदाचि स्त्रिया भक्त That's why when that bhukti mukti is there inside your heart like a ghost, then know that the pathway of bhakti in order to uh, to get increment in that pathway is not at all possible. It means bhukti mukti vancha in the way of pathway of bhakti is just one like kind of a thorn. In the pathway of bhakti, it's just one like kind of thorns. And it won't uh, allow you to go ahead in the pathway of Shuddha Bhakti at all. It won't allow you to go ahead. That is one kind of thorns in the way of the actual pathway of Shuddha Bhakti. That onto the lotus feet of Shri Krishna just by doing the seva. That topmost ananda, happiness, that coming inside the heart of the transcendental devotees that kind of some topmost moksha vancha with they are thinking that is topmost it is totally destroyed from the from their heart they are not at all accepting moksha vancha at all the desire to get moksha that is totally getting deteriorated from their heart completely and after that ragunathas goswami pad that all those those who wants to become brajrasik those who wants to stay in brajadham and those who want the nitya seva in brajadham for them in front of them raghunath das goswami pad is it openly speaking in front of them that in order to get pure devotion that be be careful that carefulness is very much required in order to get pure devotion Now, this uh, Krishna Bhakti, if all this which are of the Krishna Bhakti, uh, is, then it's not possible that Krishna Bhakti can know. That Shalokya, etc., all these four kinds of Mukti is there. If someone actually asking you that Maharaj, all these people are actually, a lot of people are going towards these four kinds of Mukti, Shalokya, Samipa, Sayujya, all these four, they are actually moving towards that that four shalokya etc four kinds of mukti shalokya samipya shalokya swarupya after that sayojya mukti devotees are not at all taking at all that four kinds of mukti are there shashti is there means that just like uh, the opulent mood of bhagwan equivalent to that they want opulence like bhagwan shashti means that equivalent to bhagwan that opulence they need, they require that all devotees don't want at all at all they don't want that That shaloke etc. The four kind of muktis are there, and one is prem sevaktara. That the first kind of that mukti, that in the, that is actually getting that actually primarily it is getting a place in the heart, and the second secondary point that prem seva vancha just to get prem seva that is the topmost target. So the primary thing, the primary, the first point, just for the seva rasik devotees, those who are against that bhakti tat, they are actually just getting the realization of to just taste the prem madhurya of the bhakti tat. That uh, all those uh, ekantik devotees of Sri Hari, no uh, eligibility is there apart from that in order to enter the bhagwad lila prem ras of Bhagwan. That if you want to take it, still you can't get it at all. That that kind of prem madhurya, 
that for all those ekantik devotees in the association of them only that shri nandanandan's lotus feet and uh, that who is actually taking their heart away that only on to the lotus feet of shri nandanandan shri krishna that kind of topmost nectar of their lotus feet if that they are actually lot the actual beautifulness of the lotus feet of shri krishna if they want to taste that that is the topmost devotee of all of all the devotees that even now that lakshmi devi in belavan up till now she is actually no, getting sharnagat on to shri krishna shri nandanandan krishna she wants to get the association of that but she is not at all getting up till now that bhagwan that's why bhagwan actually speaking that if i want to give still she can't get it that i i want to give it but they are not at all ready to accept that that if some someone having that opulent mood the prabhupad speaking in context to this that if someone is having that uh, opulent mood ashwarya bhav is there inside someone then this kind of opulent mood if he is actually entering the temple of radha govind and radha gopinath or radha madan mohan any vigre of radha damodar if they want to worship then they are actually doing the save of narayan not radha radha govind at all that won't be getting that will not at all be the bhagwat seva actual bhagwat seva uh, of the bhagwan it will become narayan seva that's why the propat is speaking very carefully in this context that step by step we just need to move forward towards that prajarasa shalokya samrupya sharashti samipya Samipya, Sashti, etc. A lot of four kinds of bhaktis are, muktis are there. So devotees are not at all accepting that at all. So devotees, all these five kinds of mukti, all they are not at all accepting at all. This mukti, these five kinds of mukti, this vishya is there. The devotees are not at all accepting it at all. That Nanda Nanda Bhagwan Sri Krishna. that uh, their inside heart with that that those devotees are actually connected with shri nandanandan krishna lotus feet that onto his lotus feet that uh, their heart is getting stolen by those they are at the topmost devotees ekantik devotees that param brahmanath lakshmipati narayan and even, even dwarakadhish krishna that Rukm- rukmipati shri krishna that in that prasadam also the, their heart won't be staying and getting fixed on to that anyhow their heart won't get fixed on to that that maybe we know that in this context that narayan and uh, vishnu tatva is one and the same maharaj yes definitely it is one and the same no no doubt about it there is no doubt that vishnu tatva narayan tatva is all the same but still that definitely some difference is there that who is getting the top mood ut- utkarsh and attraction and anurag towards that shri nandanandan krishna swarup that is the top mood uh, top most uh, thing uh, one devotee can get and in between if someone that some kind of ashwarya bhav is coming then to do krishna bhajan won't be uh, it won't it will remain incomplete that nandanandan krishna's bhajan will remain incomplete kaliyanag about kaliyanag that uh, the wives of kaliyanag they are actually speaking this point and about that it's already written in bhagavatam just by giving so much uh, energy and efforts still lakshmi devi is not at all getting the 
actual darshan she is not at all getting uh, the manifestation in the leela of nandan and krishna up till now also she is not getting that but she is actually putting efforts in south india mahaprabhu and venkat but in the conversation between that i have already told you that in their conversation of venkat but and mahaprabhu i have already told you that previously as well that apart from that nothing is more topmost this is the topmost thing that raghunath das ko swami pad actually in order to protect us and he is actually giving all kind of uh, all things is being getting exposed by him in front of us especially rupanug bhajan those who are busy in that those who are busy in raghunuga bhajan for them especially that raghunath das ko swami pad actually just giving so much of discussion in front of them haridas that haridas likha hai haridas already written haridas 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 ji already written shri haridas ji already written this Shri Haridas is speaking that uh, I have no connection with the talkings of heavens. That who actually wants to go to heaven? There is nothing there in heaven at all. And in Gita also it is written. So what to do by going into heaven? Definitely nothing is there in heaven at all. That uh, whatever what what will be the by the talkings of heaven? What will be done? That just by discussing about heaven, what can be done? that nothing no connection is there with the actual talkings of the heaven at all and that the whole adipatya of this material world if i'll get what i will do by that you tell me just by taking that what i will do that the whole adipatya of this material world if i'll take what i will do by that you tell me and moksha lakshmi and naam kirtan of uh, lakshmi and moksha if it is actually going away that kind of uh, braj leela and uh, neel kamal jyoti will just uh, attract me that's it apart from that nothing can, nothing can attract me at all very very uh, am- amazing and surprising to hear about that that in bhagavad gita that bhagwan is actually speaking that when the good deeds are actually going away that that is not the permanent solution just by giving a charity donation all austerity penances pranayam whatever you are doing that ultimately gonna put you in bondage 
that apart from that bhakti apart from that bhakti is the only pathway open for you no other pathway can protect you shri madishwar puri bad also writing that all those very lucky people that inside their heart when that get transformation of that braj bhav is coming that inside that top must that satyanand ras is when it is getting manifested inside their heart but it is not at all getting manifested that ragupati upadhyay also speaking in this context ragupati upadhyay similarly speaking the point in this context that those that those who will be doing the archan of whom but inside me there is only one bhav that is krishna who is the son of nand maharaj nand nandan krishna that gop uh, the who is neel 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 indra color is actually busy in all the time in uh, brajadham madhvendra puri pad also writing in this similar context in rasamrit sin when they are actually uh, making this kind of vichar in order to glorify that but uh, those who are non devotees they are actually just running towards brahm and they are just glorifying brahm but we that top most punja that vamshi dhari uh, vamshi dhari nandanandan krishna we are ready to accept him we will glorify his lotus feet that actually being told that if someone have this desire okay they can do they can read shruti and smriti and purans whatever their desire is they can read it according to their own desire and uh, will that mahabharat they can read whatever they want to read purans upanishad that in this material world they are getting fearful that any archan they can perform but i will not at all uh, i am fixed on to that i won't get unstable that i will only to the worship of nandanandan shri nandanandan that who in the veranda of nanda baba that bhagwan is actually playing in the veranda of nanda baba nanda mahal that who is actually playing in the veranda of that nand baba that i will uh, be worshiping why because bhagwat sar bhagwan that by the worshiping and of devotees 
automatically he is getting uh, uh, he is getting uh, in the hands of those who are actually serving devotees bhagwan automatically is arrested by those who are get serving the, his devotees pure devotees that's why actually it is written someone has some desire to read shuddhi smriti whatever they want to read puran but i don't want to take all this tension or that the topmost nitya seva of bhagwan i need to do that that i will definitely go directly into nitya seva of bhagwan which is topmost satisfaction of nanda nandan krishna that is to serve pure devotees just by serving the pure devotees pure guru vaishnav then i will get nitya seva that's why i don't need to do anything only just to take the association of pure devotees under their guidance i need to follow that's it why because by bhagwat seva that bhagwan will get automatically get attracted by the service of his pure devotees then oh, that only is possible for me to do so just by doing that this which are actually being told and uh, and another lot of uh, proofs are there regarding this these are actually four in number and there ragupati upadhyaya with that mahaprabhu actually discussing at that time we also uh, this kind of discussion also being put up there that point is also getting uh, raised there that bhagwan shri krishna that i will be worshiping only the lotus feet of nandanandan shri krishna that i will be serving only the lotus feet of shri nandanandan krishna that's only i will be serving shri nandanandan krishna lotus feet apart from that nothing i will do that kind of firmness should be there that ragunath das goswami was speaking that top most complete completeness completeness that we will get this kind of discussion that for normal people it is uh, just to realize that is not at all uh, possible it's very very difficult to realize for a normal person to realize this point that bhagwan shri krishna in shri chaitanya mahaprabhu wants to hear you just speak 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 that because he is the actual disciple of mahaprabhu no? that's why mahaprabhu speaking him you just please speak more and more and at last what mahaprabhu speaking that adaras adaras means madhur ras that is the top most to attain that one jeevatma that complete satisfaction is in this only apart from that nothing is more more top most this is the top most rasa that is the absolute uh, thing you can get in your life madhur ras naraji maharaj also speaking to nimi maharaj that you have actually are very very lucky in this material world you are very very successful and lucky you have that top most luck you are having in this material world apart from that no one is there why because that in your house what the pure guru vaishnav just to get their darshan which is very rare to get but all these munis and pure guru vaishnav are just running towards your house so that is the top most uh, attainment and top most uh, luckiness you got where all the pure guru vaishnavs are just coming and naraji also speaking that oh rajan that you are so much uh, lucky that so much lucky you are that that all those muni rishis they are actually just running towards them why because they are doing bhagwat seva
where Bhagwan himself is actually sitting, not at all going away. Even Bhagwan not at all uh, thinking of going away from that place, not at all getting. He's just fixed there. Bhagwan is fixed there. That uh, Sakshat Bhagwan, where he is actually there, so you can see what can be the effect where Sakshat Bhagwan is there inside him. That Raghunath Das Goswami. That Raganuga devotees, especially for Rupanuga devotees, those who wants to taste that Madhur Rasa, that in order to protect them, that all kinds of different different secret tattva is actually manifesting in front of them. Those Madhur Rasa devotees in front of them. So it is already written in that. What is written? That actually it's written there regarding this. that our uh, ka- about all the wives of Kaliya Nag they are actually speaking tomorrow I will be discussing that in, uh, in description that they are speaking that what I will do by taking heaven you tell me that what I will do by getting the kingship of this material world no work no use of that by attaining that at all that I, I don't need at all we don't need what is the use of taking that you tell me That onto your lotus feet, that topmost nectar, that I require. Apart from that, nothing I need at all. That your nectar, that topmost nectar I need, transcendental nectar, I need. So by this, this which are actually with me, manifested and uh, that Bhagwan, those who wants to get uh, who wants to get inside the Nitya Leela of uh, Bhagwan and who wants to get the topmost Anand like Prajavasis who wants to serve Bhagwan like that then definitely they need to get the Anugatya of Rup Sanatan and very carefully they just need to move forward that kind of topmost Krishna Ras because it's very very rare to get that that you just need to make sure that you are going that's why Raghunath Das Goswami Pad in Shri Rupa Siksha is actually giving, in uh, Shri Man Siksha, he is giving us this advice. Very nicely, he is speaking it in front of us. Those who want to do Brajras Bhajan under the guidance of Brajrasik devotees. And uh, ahead, that Man Siksha. That kind of bhashya, what actually being written by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur Ji, that of Manasiksha, that bhashya of uh, what is being manifested by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur Ji, that is very much important to discuss in front of you. That is the actual bhashya of Sri Manasiksha. It's important to discuss it. So I'll discuss it now. that bhashya of manasiksha that I will be discussing it now very important here actually it is written by Raghunath Das Goswami Pad that total that Sri Manasiksha what we are discussing that each single one and one shlok after actually is getting completed that Sri Manasiksha bhashya that is very much important that Bhaktivar Thakur Ji has written in uh, individually that Aprakrita Rasa if you can understand that is very very good that bhashya of Sri Manasiksha each and every shloka one one bhashya is written by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur total explanation like in Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran that in the 10th canto actually it is written
that krishna varta apart from that that without krishna varta that prostitute is very very dangerous very very dangerous that process that the jivas that in the life of jivas is very very rare to get that krishna vritti is very very rare to achieve that krishna vritti that krishna vishaya mati that is very very rare very very rare to get for the jivas to attain this life attain in this life so why because this vaishya mati definitely this vaishya mati that definitely gonna uh, grasp her heart oh my heart that mukti word that kind of sarguni of mukti is very very dangerous it will destroy the pathway of bhakti completely it's very very dangerous it is actually compared with that forest fire that all these points if someone will hear very attentively that those who have not at all getting any association in front of bhagwan then they will be just feeling topmost anand they will just accept that under the guidance of pure guru vishnuv and mukti word this thing this katha if someone wants to hear then in that they will just get entangled whole material world that what is the actual treasure of the jivas what is the actual treasure of the jivas you tell me that money power position land property this is not the that bank balance that this that is actually is there this is their actual treasure this is their actual sampatti but the actual treasure of the jiva is to get self realization that those who are getting more realization in his life about that bhagavat tatva they are actually more and more topmost their consciousness and chetna is more and more topmost that realization has some cost and other wish what you are getting is of no cost at all it's zero and bhakti is the topmost uh, uh, treasure maybe that by atma uplabdhi definitely is there but the realization but on to the basis of bhakti it is there self realization then it is actually good if bhakti is not there means no seva is there then nothing is there nothing will be there apart from seva seva is very much important that the actual uh, heart of the jivas the topmost treasure that is that is to swallow you just need to swallow it just with water like you are actually swallowing you are actually swallowing something with water in the same way that topmost treasure you just need to swallow that means that all kind of treasure of the jivas that realize self realization with in contact with bhakti you just need to swallow it that definitely you just need to swallow it completely like gurudev used to give one example that beta that in the ocean that there is one th- timi fish is there timi fish is there in the ocean and this timi fish it is not a normal fish it is actually taking and swelling all the small fishes inside her so very very top most very big in size and gurudev speaking that more and more uh, uh, bigger than the timic fish is timingil timingil fish is more bigger than the timic fish and it is just swallowing more and more uh, smaller fishes than her timingil means that that timia well even that well also is getting uh, swallowed by that so much big fish that uh, that small small uh, Uh, boats and ships are also getting swallowed by that fish you see so much big so with that mukti the actual residue of that mukti if you are actually just hearing that in your heart in your ears then you will just get uh, totally 
completely devastated and you'll just get totally uh, going on to the wrong pathway so what will happen that your self what actually connected all the sadgun all the nice qualities and characteristics attached with the atma automatically that will get destroyed it will just get swallowed up automatically that both of them you just need to uh, to avoid asad asad vyakta and this mukti that kind of uh, hearing of mukti prasang you just need to uh, reject that completely otherwise in braj dham in order to get in braj entry that is not at all possible so much that is not at all easy to get into entry into braj dham even lakshmi pati also that will just need to stay away from that what mahaprabhu that uh, venkat bhat uh, in the conversation of mahaprabhu and venkat bhat this same point is actually being discussed there also it looks all the same similar that tattvagat vichar is all the same that if tattvagat vichar you are doing between vishnu and krishna is all the same but who is narayan who is vishnu that all the same it is that i have told you a lot of time this point already lot of time i have just discussed this point in front of you regarding this that is all the same it is not at all different but still that krishna this is the topmost rasik that ras vichar uh, according to that there is a big difference but the topmost complete rasa that kind of manifestation you can see in shri krishna only that in between that you just need to uh, that lakshmi pati that bhav and mahaprabhu ji also speaking at the time of hera panchmi shriman mahaprabhu ji at the time of hera panchmi he is actually speaking to sarup gosain and shri vas pandit If both of them he is actually standing in between them and he is starting doing some conversation starting and he just wants to make some conversation and when the at the last when conversation is going on at the last shri vas pandit ji is actually having that narad bhav narad ji bhav and he is speaking that swarup dham kosai mahaprabhu himself speaking that swarup he is actually nitya transcendental brajwasi he is and you are actually from vaikunth narad how you can understand the actual rasa of brajadham and that with full uh, uh, transcendental bliss and happiness he is speaking like that with full anand and lakshmi pati that prasang if we were actually just uh, uh, just putting up i have already told you one and a half hours before that uh, <coughs> that raghunath das goswami was speaking those who are actually going with an opulent mood and just entering into the temple of ragu radha gopinath radha madan mohan radha damodar whosoever big grace there but with that opulent mood that will just become the worship of lakshmi narayan propal speaking because that they are having that opulent mood that will become the puja worship of lakshmi narayan that krishna seva won't be acceptable at all that both of these things you just need to reject completely you don't need to accept that that lakshmipati prasang you just need to stay away why because you want brajras no you don't know vaikunthras is totally different and brajras is totally different so this vichar is very much important you just need to hear it carefully both of them you just need to reject one is asadvarta you just need to reject and about from krishna prasang other katha if is going on you just need to reject it completely and mukti kithi mukti katha you just need to reject and lakshmi pati that prasang that with lakshmi pati L- lakshmi narayan prasang that also you just need to stay away why because this lakshmi pati <coughs> that uh, onto the lotus feet of lakshmi pati that if your bhakti is getting more and more ahead that definitely in that parabrahm in vaikunth jagat it you will go on to that vaikunth platform you will not at all get vrindavan at all you will go to vaikunth dham Juga 
just to get the seva of yugal sarkar it will won't give you the eligibility to do it won't give you that uh, eligibility and acceptance so that's why just getting that opulent bhav that uh, parabrahm bhav you just need to reject that that in braj brajpur to get the uh, actual staying in brajaras it's not at all possible when vakunta bhav is there that is the topmost thing you can get prajaras apart from that nothing is there that radha krishna bhakti vinod thakur actually in order to just teach us he is actually discussing this in front of us and shrinath ji that which are what and inside the heart of mahaprabhu that is actually in gaudiya samaj is very famous she la vishnu chakravarti was speaking this which are very nicely that mahaprabhu actually is this vichar is of mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu himself speaking this vichar aradhya that raghunath das go swami pad actually just by getting the instructions the topmost uh, resultant conclusion of the re- teachings of mahaprabhu is actually is uh, presenting in front of us and raghunath das go swami pad in detail speaking about the conclusive conclusive teachings of mahaprabhu in front of us don't want to they don't want to understand anything they just like this only up till this point i will be just giving rest now and tomorrow i will be again starting from this point and we will go ahead and by the grip of by the grip of yours and bhagwan i will be going ahead up till this point i just need to give rest so jatottama sroku gunan vadaha prastuyate gramma katha vigatah nishyamanam anudinam mamakshur matim satim yachati vasudev वाचकल्पतरोस्ति के पास सिंधु भविष्य पतितानं पावरे भो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नमः